Hello, welcome to Walk Out with Katie. Today we're going to be using hand weights, loop band and resistant band. So let's come to a seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Place your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breaths. When you inhale through your nose, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. One more breath. And we slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up. Above the head, turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Two more. Inhale your arms up. Reach for the sky. Exhale down. One more. Inhale your arms up. Lengthening the spine. Big, big stretch. Exhale down. Hands on your thighs. Stretching out the neck next. Ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guys for the head stretch. If the sound is this in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly come back to center. Repeat on the other side. You to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guys, for the head stretch. If there's any clicking sound, any stiffness, just stay here for a little bit longer. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, center, exhale, to look the right shoulder, go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center, exhale, and go to the other side. Know your range of motion. Inhale, center, exhale, lift the chin up, stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, chin to chest. Bring tension at the back of your neck. Slowly, slowly come back to center, take a breath here. We're going to look at the right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle looking down. Slowly come back to center. Now we're going to look at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle looking down. Slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. Shoulder strap. Right arm up and across. Pull back. Craving resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Pull back. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder issues or any issues. And now we're slowly release. Same arm up, we length the front, place the hand behind your back. Use the hand to guide that one. Tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. Slowly release, shake it out, repeat on the other side. Arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first, place the hand behind your back. Use the hand to guide the tricep stretch. If you like to bind hands behind your back, go ahead. Try to bring your fingers closer and closer together. Slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Head to pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up long hard chest. Improving your posture. Oiling the shoulder joint. And in the same position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to bring the arms closer and closer together. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. Slowly release, lean how the arms up the length of the spine, exhale and come to a side bend. Outside hand, grab holding service, chin is away from the body, eyes will keep up. Inhale, center tongue long, exhale and go to the other side. 
I would say, hey, grab a little bit of chin is away from the body, lengthening the side of the body. Inhale, center tongue long, exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm, top arm, suppressing you. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Inhale, center lengthening. Exhale, we go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm, suppressing you. Side body long. Slowly come back to center the length. Exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind you. And we will slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Massaging internal organs, stretching our lower back muscles, turning the neck too. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite back. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. We're going to keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck to. See if we can turn a little bit more with each exhale breath. And we're going to be holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center, don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, hands on the thighs. Take a couple of common breaths, and you're gonna grab a hold of the hip bend. Place it on your forearm. Hold this on the laps. Are you ready? Small little open shut. Sitting up nice and tall. The alignment is shoulder on top of hips. Knees on top of ankle. Chest proud. Not pushing the stomach forward. Neutral spine. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Arms up above the head. Small little open shut. Feel the resistance. Feel free to have different weights of bands and hand weights so you can move up and down to suit your ability, your body type, your level, and your experiences. Now we slowly release, shake it out. Lift the band on one shoulder, doesn't matter which one. Opposite hand stabilize the band. The other one with the thumb through. Take it side view. You don't have to sit sideways. So we're going to extend all the way back. Chain is away from the body, eyes looking forward. You come in regularly for wear and tear. Make sure it doesn't snap back into you. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, switching side. Put it on the shoulder. Opposite hand stabilize the band. The other one with the thumbs through and extend. Be mindful not to hit the chair, other furniture in your household. Make sure it's a safe practice for you. So check your equipment regularly for wear and tear. So another three, two, 
Have one slowly release. You know, walk the other arm so you should be able to pull back and release. Shoulder height, pull back. So we can only do it halfway, that's modification. Otherwise, extend your arms all the way. Let's do another three, two, and one, switch to the side. Should they ever pull back and release? Let's do another three, two, and one, release. Move the band behind you. So we'll work the other arm. We're going to alternate between the two arms. So wrap your arms around your waist, hold on to your loop band, and we're going to extend the arms up. Let's do another three, two, and one. Switching side, left arm around the waist, the other one with the thumb through, and we're going to extend. So another three, two, and one, release. Another one behind your back. So we're gonna work the other arm. Pull it up. Try your best. Let's do another three, two, and one. Switch inside. Are you ready? Pull it up. Engage your core abdominal muscles, which means pull your belly in tight, but not to the point of cramping. Let's do another three, two more, 
And one, very good, slowly, slowly, slowly release. In between set, we're going to do some stretches. So alternating shoulder roll, one other one down. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly, slowly release your arms of waist rotation. Change direction. Back double, close your body, forward backwards, backing down. Thumb up, forward backwards, bagging down, continue, change direction. Be mindful of anyone who has carpal tunnel syndrome. Change light bulb. Check, check, check. Slowly, slowly release. Now we'll move the band on. Now five, half double close your body, palm facing up, shoulders relax, pull it up. When you release, nice and slow of control. If you can do halfway, that's fine. That allows you to feel the resistance. Know your range of motion hours. Let's do another three, two, and one. Switch inside. Tuck down, push your body, palm facing up. Sitting up nice and tall. Good posture always. If you need back support, place a firm cushion or pillow behind your back. So whatever you do, don't lean back too much. If you can sit all the way back to the back of the chair, that's fine. And since I'm a shorter person, I have riser to keep my feet off the ground. Otherwise, my feet will be dangling. Let's do another three, two more, and one, slowly release, place both legs into the band. Now we go open, close, so open, opening up the hip joints, striking the inner thighs, toes are pronated out, in, knees together, toes are pronated in like pigeon toes. Keep going. Know the range of motion of the hip joint, especially those who have hip issues, hip replacement and so on. You know your body best. So when you have the arms, when you're up, arms up, palms facing forward, in, out, we say knees together, keep going. And make sure you're not going too far back. You should never see your hands in front of you. Open, close, both upper and lower half of the body.
Let's do another three, two, and one. Keep the legs going, open, close, arms up. And we are open, arms up above the head, lengthening the spine in, elbows together, knees together. So upper part of the body is going up and down. Bottom half is going open, close. We continue to lengthen the spine, stretch out the back. While we open up the hip joints, stretching the inner thighs. Keep going at your breath and your pace. Let's do another three, two more, and one. Slowly release, take a breath here. We're gonna keep going open close, arms up, cactus arm. When we open, we open when we close, and down, knees together. Up and down the bottom, on the top, open close on the bottom. So another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly release, shake it out. I'm going to move the band down to the cap. Just your posture, holding on to your chair for support. I'm going to go knee up, extend, open, close, and then engage your core abdominal muscles. Firming up your abs. To support your spine. Keeping your spine healthy and strong for the rest of your life. Another three, two more, and one last one. Slowly, slowly release. So place the band on the foot. So nice and top and body up. Extend, open, close, and down. Up, extend, open, close, and down. Know your range of motion. Adding the opposite arm, opposite leg. Now when you open up the arms, don't go to the back because you can see your hands in front of you. So we don't want to overwork any particular part of the body. Let's do two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release, switch inside. Ready, knee up, extend, open, close and down. So right side may be different from the left side. You know your body best. Now we add the opposite arm, opposite leg.
Breathing in and out through your nose normally. We never hold our breath and we don't breathe with the mouth open. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Take a couple of calming breaths, and we're going to move on to the longer resistance bag. Hold it in half. Take some water, really. Stay hydrated during the program. For the heart. Again. Extend. Do what you can today to challenge yourself. Another three, two, and one. Release. Bring the band to the back. Adjust the length. Are you ready? Pack out, close your body. And we're going to extend. Let's do another three, two more, and one, very good, shake it out, inhale to bring the arms up above the head, coming into a side bend, looking up if your neck is good, center, and we'll go to the other side, keep going in your breath and your pace, make sure you're sitting securely on your chair, you're not going to fall off. Lengthening the side of the body, stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point again. Come back to center for the breath here, and we're going to go into a big, big figure eight. Like a kayaking motion. In the center position, we're going to change direction. We go the other way, big, big figure eight. Slowly, 
slowly, slowly come back to center to release, shake it out. So do a few rounds of alternating shoulder roll, release any tension that you may have. Make a movement if you like. Change direction, go the other way. Slowly well, release, really shake it out. We'll get ready to stand up. So take your time to rise up to standing. So we are going to remove the chair. Keep your equipment with you. Aim to use the long resistant band. Place your feet on the band. All ten toes facing front legs side hip width. Tuck down and close your body. We're gonna pull it up. Adjust the length of the band to suit your height. Release nice and slow of control. Let's try some doubles. Feel free to go back to single single. Just gonna bring it up to the shoulder height. Soft knees, don't lock the knees. Let's do another three, two more, and one, very good, slowly release, crisscross, put up to the shoulder height, one at a time. Try some double doubles. Let's do another three, two more, and one, slowly release. Make one side longer than the other side. Place one foot on it, and we're gonna extend the arms up. Doesn't matter which side you do first.
Let's do another three, two, and one, switch inside. You're ready, pull it up. Extend your arms all the way up. Good posture, shoulders on top of hips, hips on top of ankle, neutral spine. Always engage your core abdominal muscles. Pull your belly in towards the spine without cramping. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Release the long band. And we're going to move on to hand weights. Our hand toes face in front, legs are hip width. Soft knees, tuck down, close your body, palm facing up. We're going to pull it up one at a time. One at a time, single, single. When you're ready, double, double. We release nice and slow. Hold on tight. Feel free to go back to single, single. You can always modify, adjust, adapt, change it up a little bit to suit your body type, your level your ability and your experiences. I'm going to add knee drop to this. Knee drops are optional. You don't have to go very far down. Bars to height. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, shake it out, bring it up to the shoulder height. Touch it up one at a time, single, single. Do some doubles. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder issues, like frozen shoulder and so on. If you're not able to raise your arm up above the head, press these off. Let's do another three, two. And one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. Coming into a dead drop. So all ten toes face and front leg side of work. We're going to go all the way down. So we're hitting from the hips, leading with the chest. Now rounding the back or dropping the head. Neck is long, spine is straight. Go all the way down to the mat. Take your time to rise up. Roll the shoulder back. And we're going to keep going. And your breath and your pace. Thank you. 
You can go halfway, that's fine. Respect your body always to avoid injuries. So let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. I'm going to punch it down. Side to side. Let's do two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Give me a side view, soft knees. Now sticking the butter, not shifting really beyond the toes. So we're just gonna have a slight bend, hinging from the hips, breathing with the chest. Neck is long, spine is straight. Let's try some doubles. Anytime you're tired, just take a break. Have a sip of water, enjoy this when you can. We're only going up to the shoulder heights. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up, release. Now you don't have to stand on the side, just standing on the side to give you a look so softly. Now sticking the butt up and not shifting the knee beyond the toes. So good posture always. We're gonna extend the arm to the back. Nice and slow of control. Let's try some doubles. Let's do another three. Two more. And one, very good, slowly rise up, loosen up. Widen your stand, about three feet apart. Toes and knee facing the corner of your mat. We go up and down, like a goddess. Hands up by your chest. I'm gonna keep this motion going. When you're ready, down and down. When you're up, all the way up. Control your movement. Hold on tight. Don't drop your weight. We're doing up and down, not forward backwards. You don't have to go very far down. 
Slide and tuck the tables in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Breathing in and out through your nose. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Keep the legs open. We're just going to use one weight. Outside hand on your waist for support. I want to go punch all the way down. Come up. Raise your arm up above the head. Modification. Halfway. Coming up to cactus side. Your choice. Nice and slow of control. Challenge yourself. Don't push yourself beyond the limits. Let's do another three. Two more. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. Soft knees. Hold on to the end of the weight. So we're gonna raise the arm up above the head. You're gonna bring it to the back of your head. Not pushing the hip forward. So good posture always. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Shoulder exercise, firming up your thigh back fat. Lifting up your breast. Let's do another three, two. And one, slowly rise up, holding on to the end, you're going to drop the elbow side to side. Let's do another three. Two more, and one last one. Slowly, slowly, really shake it up. We're gonna come down on the mat, keep your equipment with you. Come on the side of your body. Doing some leg works, extend your feet. We're gonna bend at the knee. We're not gonna draw the knee close to the body. So extend. 
bend of the knee, glue your feet together, plan shower if you like and place the weight on the meaty part. We're not placing the weight on the bony structure. Open, close 10 times. Clam shell. Let's do another three, two, and one. Release the hand weight. Pat, pat, pat. Release any tension that you may have. Expand the leg. Hand weight optional. Place it on the meaty part, not on the bony structure. Raise it up about one to two feet off the ground. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release. Pat, pat, pat. Relief any tension that you may have. And we're going to switch side. Make yourself comfortable. Extend the legs first. Glue the feet together with bending at the knee, not drawing the knee close to the body. Climb shell first. Hand weights are optional. Open, close 10 times. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Release. Pat, pat, pat. Keep any tension that you may have. Straighten out the leg. Glue the feet together. Hand weights optional on the meaty part, not on the bony structure. Raise it up. One to two feet off the ground. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Tap, tap, tap. Just gonna lie down on our back, full cool down. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Keeping the natural curve in the lower back and down by your side, palm facing down. Wing releasing on the right side, wrap your arms around the right knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massage your organs on the right side as well as ascending colon. Uh, 
Let's do another three, two, and one. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. Massaging the right hip joint. Change direction, go the other way, circular motion. And from here, we're going to go spinal twist, so right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Right hand, feel free to grab a hold of the left foot, so coming into a cat holding the tail. If your neck is good, look at the right side. We're stretching, strengthening, toning lower back muscles, keeping your spine healthy and strong, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly come back to center. Straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times, and repeat on the other side. So wrap your arms around the left knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit, gently pump it a few times. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the left side as well as descending colon. From here, we're transitioning to spinal twist, so left foot on right thigh. Using the right hand gently, guide the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Left hand can grab a hold of the right foot, coming into cat holding the tail. Shoulder, shoulder blade, upper body still on the mat. Turn to look at the left side, the leg is good. One more breath here. We're going to slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Bend both knees. Wrap your arms around your knees. Rocking side to side. Coming into a big circular motion if you like. Covering a big area. Massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way, big, big circular motion. And slowly come back to center. Lifting the feet up to the sky, can make you a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. If you're not able to reach for your feet, hold on to any part of the legs. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpits. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine and tie back. Opening up the hip joint. Stretching in the thighs. Slowly, slowly come back to center, bring the legs together, flex the feet. And down by your side, palm facing down. Nice and slow control. We're going to release the legs back down on the mat. Bounce a few times. Then both knees, raise the right arm. Go over to the right side of the body. Coming into a fetus position. Let your breath pressure get adjusted, and when you're ready, pushing yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. So we've come to the end of the workout. So thank you very much for joining me, sharing your thoughts on the end of your boss, and letting me find through the practice. All this work, Thanks.